everybody it's sam here thank you for watching so today i'm back with a handbag style gift bag to share this one here has two boxes either side so you have one on this side here which opens up and then you have one on the other side here and then you have this little opening here and you can fill that with any goodies that you like and then on the front you have a little space to pop a gift card so it's the perfect size but whilst making this i also realized it will hold a bottle of wine and you can see that i can lift it up and it holds the wine fine my handles are still drying because i've not long stuck them down but if you know as long as you've used a good strong glue i've used the kalau construction glue on this i am confident that it will hold a bottle of wine or a bottle of anything else could be some nice cordials it's entirely up to you it has got a picnic feel to it which that's why i've called it my picnic handbag but it's also two kind of projects in one because the boxes there's two separate boxes here these are really nice size on their own these are six by by three and a half so again a nice size gift box which i don't think i have on the channel so pretty straightforward to make let's get started so to make one box you're going to want two pieces of seven and a half by ten and a half along the seven and a half side you want to score at three and a half and seven and then rotate so the half inch tab is at the bottom and you're going to score at three and a half and nine and a half fold and burnish the score lines and then we're going to do some cutting so you want the half inch tab on your right hand side and you're going to cut up both these score lines just to the first score line okay and then just remove this little rectangle here take a little wedge off the corner there and then cut away this rectangle like so and then cut that wedge off here okay and then you want to remove all of this one so you can cut right across but i just break these steps down because there's always you know someone new watching so by just breaking it all down just it's a bit easier to understand and then take that away these are going to be the sides of the box at the top if i just open this one up here so these are these pieces and the lid itself is separate so once you cut those on both pieces there so i did I say you need two pieces? You're going to want four if you're making this project. If you're just making the box, you just want two. And then I'm going to use the construction glue because I want to add as much strength to this as possible. So all down the side there. And always focus on your base at score line. Get that lined up because if the tops for any reason are slightly out, it's easier to trim them. But you want your base to always be nice and straight. Okay, so this second one in is going to be the front of my box. So I'm going to lift that one up and then all these other ones, just like I do in all my other gift box tutorials, you want to just take off a bit more of a wedge off of each side. And that's just going to ensure they're all kind of hidden in the base. It's going to be nice and strong. Again, I'm using the construction glue between each layer, which when it dries completely, it's like cement. It's very, very strong. So it's great if you're adding, you know, heavy items. If you want to reinforce this base even more, then add... A heavier weight cardstock this is a 220 that i'm using so add a 300 gsm or even some gray board cardboard you know something in between the layers there with the construction glue which is linked below all the videos so you should have one solid square and then these ones that have been slightly cut in and then i'm just going to add my glue again all down the side and then flip this over keep this one over with the glue and then fold that one over and it should all line up give that all a minute to dry and just fold it the other way as well you want to make sure it all lies flat both ways so again find the front so this one here so now i'm going to fold down the back one and i'm going to add a layer of glue in between each layer and then that one and that full square will cover all that up and it's also a good guide to make sure that you square the box off so it's all nice and even and then just flip that over grab a ruler and you'll be able to go in and just spread all that glue out if you want to decorate inside you can do you could just cut yourself a just slightly under three and a half square and just pop that in the bottom there that'll look nice so next we're going to make the closure here so this is a piece of six by three and a half so again you'll want two pieces if you're doing the project today 
Along the six inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch and four. And then I've just used my corner punch to just round off the edges. You don't have to do this, but I do like using it when I make the handbag style gift bags. And then I've already cut this piece here, which is gonna go over the top. And I also cut this piece here, which is gonna go on the top there. And again, I've just rounded off the corners on that one. So I'm gonna stick those both down. You can do it when you've, add, when you've attached it to the box, but I, mean, I like to do them before. Then you wanna decorate the size of the box. Now, if, again, if you're just making the box on its own, then you'll wanna cut yourself four pieces for one box. But you also need four pieces for this project because you only actually stick the paper on the front and the back in this project. But these here are three and a quarter by five and three quarters. So I'm going to pop this one here and then the other one on the back. Now, you may prefer to stick this down and then your pattern paper. But I actually like this showing just for this design. I think it looks quite nice. So it's up to you. If you don't want that, though, you just want all your pattern paper on the, the back then stick your lid down first and then the, the paper so now we can stick the lid on so i'm just going to add again the construction glue all along there i'm not cutting anything off the side usually i do but because of the again the design and you see all this i'm just going to keep it as it is and then i'm just going to lay this down so it's right up to the score line like so just get it kind of in place and then you can just wrap it around until that's secure. Okay, I'm going to use hook and loop. So I'm just going to do, I've only got these small ones left, but I really want to get them used. There's so many on here. But if you've got maybe like the one inch ones and you could just have one, but because these are smaller, I'm going to do two pairs on each. And I'll just pop them towards the bottom corners. So, and then bring that over. Make sure it's all nice and straight, like so. And then just carefully kind of go in and prise them apart, like so. And then you can add a bit more pressure. So we've got our two ends to the gift bag. Next, you want to cut yourself two pieces of, I think it's ten and a half, no ten sorry, ten by eight and a quarter. Now I'm going to have to do one of mine in white because I didn't check how much paper I had so I ended up using <laughs> using it all up and not having enough for the project and I'd originally done this panel and then forgot that I needed a base. So this panel here, ignore for you guys, you'll need two of this size here but I'm going to stick this over the white piece. You're only going to see a bit of the white inside, but because there's white in the pattern paper, I think it will all work. And along the eight and a quarter side, you're going to score it two and a quarter. OK, OK, so fold and burnish. And you've got your two pieces and like I said, I'm going to have the white on the front. So this all of this side and all of this side, I need to add glue and just line up the edges there. So for me, this panel is going to go over the top of that. So you're not going to see it. Like I said, you're just going to see the white panel inside there. But I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to do the base last. I'm just going to add my glue all onto these two sides first. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over because it's a bit easier to see. And you just want to make sure the box is right flush. It's flush at the bottom, so I'm just bringing, folding that up around it. And it's right at the end there. And then while that's drying, add your glue to these sides. And then take your other one and place that over the top. Again, wrapping that base around like so. So now if you've got pattern paper, you might want to cover this whole piece in pattern paper. So if you want to do a little border, I would do nine and three quarters by five and three quarters. But what I've done is, like I said, imagine that's stuck on there, is I've got these two and then I'm going to have my pocket here and then like a buckle or something there. So these panels here are the same as what's on the box. So they're three and a quarter by five and three quarters. I'm only putting these on the front, not putting them on the back. But if you want to, then obviously you'll need four pieces. So I'm just going to carefully 
flip that over because this is going to now go on this side here. It does just yep, cover all that white. So then you want to just flip it over and I'm going to put the white over the green there. You should have about an inch. So first I want to stick it onto, what I'll do actually is add the glue all onto the bottom of each of these squares because they're both going to stick over that part. And see this, the base of this is going to be so strong. There's so much card already. You've got four layers then, you know, the layers that I'm adding now. So I'm going to lay that down and then I just need to add a little glue, just like I said, covering about an inch. Next, I'm going to make the pocket to go here. So I've cut myself this piece of card. I've already stuck the polka dot on and I've got the little closure there as well. This is optional. You might want to put a nice sentiment there, maybe personalise it with someone's name. So this is five and three quarters by four. Along that long side, you're going to score at half one and one and a half and then four and a quarter four and three quarters and five and a quarter and then rotate it and score at three and a half you'll then want this piece which is two and a quarter by two and three quarters and along the two and a quarter side you're going to score at half and three quarters so fold and burnish these and then that larger portion you just want to round off the edges and then that pattern piece on top is one and a quarter by two and a half and then with this one here this pattern paper is three and a quarter by two and a half so fold and burnish all those score lines and then we just want to do a little bit of cutting so we're going to cut away all of these three squares either side of this bottom piece here so this is just all along that half inch tab just removing and this is where you can put your gift card you then want to concertina fold these ones here so you want to do a mountain valley and finish with a mountain so you've got that m shape facing inside so again mountain valley mountain this is going to fold up around it so we've made that little pocket and that's going to sit and slightly expand because we've given ourselves a little quarter inch at the top of this piece so when that's on top you'll see it slightly lifts out I think it looks quite sweet and I think it's a nice place to put a little gift card so I'm going to use the quick grab glue to add these little tabs so just squeeze them down and just wrap that around so oh I need to add that one as well so now you want to sit this one just that half inch piece along the top there just let that pinch in place like so and then I can add the glue all along there okay let's make sure that's all straight and then it's up to you you can go more towards the top if you want but I'm going to keep this towards the bottom like so probably could have folded that in a bit more might be able to push that in when it's dry you should be able to apply quite a bit of pressure there and if you just open it up and again just use a ruler you'll be able to get in the sides there and then again I'm going to add a little hook and loop there now it's just to do the closure and the handles well I say closure I don't really know what I'm actually going to do. I did think about just adding just like a faux kind of strap there. And then I've cut these pieces. I should just talk you through how to make these. I just cut myself. You'll want four pieces for each side. So you want eight pieces in total that are one and a half squared and then cut on the diagonal. And then I just stuck four of them on top of each other to make these very thick like faux fixings I guess for the handle and then that's the one for the back what I did to create just that little bit of embossed detail there can you see it's raised just take your scoreboard and I use a metal stylus for this now because this is a linen texture card I'm doing it on the linen texture side because I want the um, detail to be on the front and just find a track and just I don't know I've come in about a 
just over one eighth of an inch. Keep that nice and straight and then just score down and then keep your stylus in the track and just turn the card and then down and then again turn the card nice and straight down now when you flip it over you've got that detail on the front completely optional but i do think it's just a fun inexpensive way to add a bit more detail to the the bag there so i'm just going to stick these on top of each other again using that construction glue just makes them really strong so I've just been having a play around and I've done this on the front. So these are my handles. So I'm going to show you how to do the ones for the back. I think they look really nice. And then I just thought, oh, I wonder if it would fit a bottle of wine. It fits a bottle, a bottle of wine perfectly, but you will need to make sure that that base is reinforced. I'm going to try picking this up tomorrow when the glue is completely dry. But look how wonderful that looks it looks so good and this bottle of wine it's a pretty standard bottle size so that's two and three quarters yeah two and three quarter but i you know three inches is obviously which is what that is so yeah it's a nice it's a nice option anyway so um i'm gonna add this piece over the front so if you don't want to add the wine this is just a nice decorative piece and it will, you know, if you've got something maybe in a bag, a little gift bag or something in there, then it'll stop it falling out. This is two by seven and a half. And then the pattern piece is one and three quarter by seven and a quarter. Stick those together and then just add a little bit of shape. And then to make the handles, you'll want two pieces of, well, this is the scrap. So this is 10 inches, but if you want to do longer then you can, but. It just depends how long you want your straps to be. And then what I've done is I've, you want to score from one inch down, it, right through the middle, so at half an inch. Then you want to score along this one inch side, you want to score at half an inch, but start scoring at one inches down. So just all the way down. I didn't go to the end there, but all the way down and then just fold all the way up to that point. Once you get to that point, just kind of pinch it and push it back towards your like, fingers so you get that kind of shape. I've already done it on this one. I did fold all the way down there, but you won't notice that once you see these bits go in front of it. And then one of them, grab your glue again. I'm using the construction glue for this because I want the handle nice and strong. Just stick that together. And then take the other one. Again, add your glue. And a little glue just over the other side on the end there and then you want to stick it covering about one inch over the other one just fold that down you're going to have a little bit sticking out but you can trim that see that little bit there i'll trim that off in a minute and then again just stick that all together make sure they're both facing the right way and then i'm going to stick these actually i did trim a bit off just trim about a quarter of an inch off actually just to hide in underneath these pieces you might not have done these so then you don't trim them just stick them down you can put a little embellishment you know i always use these so they're like faux hardware let's just measure where i came in so one and a quarter in from the edge and then that fold is seven eighths of an inch Whatever you stick the first one down, use those measurements to stick the next side down. And then I'm going to add my glue and stick that one down. You can go inside and just apply a bit of pressure there and make sure that's all secure. So I'm just going to carry on and do the next one, which I've stuck the wrong way. So I'm just going to have to redo my curves there so they're in the right direction. Okay, so they're all secure and I've just added the little pearls and then I'm going to attach this piece. Now what I've also cut is this strip here, which just fits between the gap here. So it's just under three and a quarter by half an inch. And I thought I'd add some small pearls over 
either side and then it would be just like a little slot for that closure to slide in. I thought that looked quite nice. So I'm going to, so I'm just going to cover about an inch on the back there. In fact, I'm just thinking it might be better. I'm just going to add a score line. And I'm just going to fold that because if you're going to be opening and closing this. So yeah, do a score line at about one inch, one and a quarter. But you're going to fold that back. That's going to be easier and that's going to be a nice little guide there. So I'm just going to line that up with the top of the bag there, that fold. I'll just show you from the back there, you can see. So it all looks really nice. I think matches. I don't even mind the white there. I don't think anybody would realise that it wasn't meant to be. So it's up to you how much of an arch you kind of give this. I'm going to add the quick grab glue just a little bit either end, like so. And then I'm going to look for some similar little pearls to go there. Seems I'm in luck. These are a different set, but they're as good a match as I'm going to get. So I'm just going to add. I never trust the adhesive on these, so I always just add my own. But I think that size or I think the smaller again. And then I'm just going to add this very small little sentiment. I just think it needs something. And I know I'll give this for someone's birthday. So I'm just going to add a little foam on the back of that. Could pop it along there that looks nice as well but i think with the with this being like for a gift card i think it looks nice on there and there's the finished gift bag i think what i would have done now because this is obviously the first one i've made is maybe have these so that they are right up on the top here so they because they're like a hinge and when i pull that to pick up this one you see it kind of just goes a little bit funny i mean you could yeah, or we'll keep them flush, just double them up with the glue there and just put flat pieces, you know, behind. You don't need them to look like that. Just put them behind the triangle pieces just so it kind of curves nicer back that way. I don't think, no, I'm not going to change it now. It looks lovely. I'm really not going to change that up. I'm really pleased with this. And I do like the thought of being able, like I said, to put some wine in it and if i decide to i can very easy just trim that off and there's just a little polka dot rectangle at the back again you know it's not um it's not going to ruin it in any way but um yeah again just show you it that way but i don't i don't trust what if i can pick it up yeah see it holds fine there but i, don't, I need those handles to dry overnight so that's holding that really nicely so it will definitely hold some wine so there you go. That is my very cute little, it's kind of a picnic style gift bag. I think you could definitely, you know, put some nice different kind of foods in there, little bags of food and, you know, crackers and things. All like the dried goods, I think would be really nice in there. And then, like I said, a little gift card as well. But I love it. It's really sweet. So thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this gift bag tutorial from me. I have so many handbag style gift bags and they are all in the playlist up here. So check that out. I also have some of my favourites popping up now. You might want to go and watch those next. And I'll link, well, it's only really the paper pad that I can link and, I'll, and that'll be in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.